Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>
Let's see what's going on. Hey, girls. That's bizarre, man. They're not even uh, acknowledging I exist. That's very unlike my ducks. Hello? Hello, duckies. Oh, there's a, the peeking over there in that nest. I wonder if it's the same peeking all the time that's in there. But, you know, uh, I think it was Ken that said that, you know, you can't even trust them. They'll, you know, they'll start doing the laying on the egg trick and then they'll just up and stop. But it looks like uh, everybody's relaxing today. How about them all sleeping here? Put that one in there. I'm going to roll one over in this one. Oh, the duckies are taking it easy today. All right, well, let's get the egg uh, recon happening here and see what we get and see if the ducks are coming through for us. Okay, that duck that was over there is Mrs. Gimp. And look at her face. It's still filthy. Mrs. Gimp. So you're going to sit on eggs, but look at that feathers. Her, I don't know if you can see it in the uh, the video here. Her feathers are really, really rough. She doesn't have that sleek, smooth look to her. There's serious molting going on. But she was sitting on the eggs here. Oh, Mrs. Gimp. All right, let's uh, let's get some recon going here on the egg situation. Hello, duckies. What's going on in here? We got two Muscovies in this back corner. Hi huh, girls, are you on eggs? Come on girls. Are you any eggs in there? Come on, out you come. Are you on any eggs? Nope. You girls are just hanging out in here today. The ducks are really quiet today. This is bizarre. Crazy little girls. All right, that's duck, that's egg recon. It's pretty bad. I want to get some feet now and fill up their feeder. Oh yeah, they seriously did a hole in her last night. They were hungry ducks. That's actually quite a lot of food for one night. Usually there's a little bit more left than that. Like it's, uh, that's gonna take, uh, that'll be a whole bag of feed to fill that thing up. So they were hungry last night. All right, I'm gonna go get some food and uh, get the water happening. All right, as soon as I came into the pen, all the ducks woke up and started quacking like crazy. Hello, ducks! You girls were awful quiet. Now you're loud. You had me worried when you're that quiet. Yes, I don't like when you're quiet. Oh, you know I've got water happening. I love when they talk to me like this. Hello! Hello! Hello, ducks! Oh, you crazy duck. As soon as I come near them, they all get excited. Hello! And of course, they're driving the males nuts. So let's get the water hopping in here. Well, I've got the chores done and I'm going up now to uh, give Miss uh, Ice Covey a bath and, uh, and give her another treatment. But, you know, I came out and it was nice. There was no wind and I'm frozen. The wind is absolutely brutal. But uh, the, uh, as soon as the tub got full, look who's in it, the Rowans. They've been nonstop in and out of there. The, uh, the female Rowans, they love the tub. Like, they're the first always to get in the tub after it's filled. They're so cute little girls. Everybody's awake now, making lots of noise since the tub's done and lots of quacking. Hello everyone! Hello ducks! Alright, uh, let's go up and take care of uh, Miss Ice Covey. I'm gonna give her a bath. I'm gonna clean up the straw that's in there because the two ducks. I want to keep the feces down to a minimum, uh, and plus I don't want her walking on feces because I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'm gonna give her a bath, clean her up, and uh, uh, and we're gonna treat her feet again. And uh, I'll give you a shot of that. She does have a little bit of dirt. I just noticed now, actually, 
she's been mounted yes she has I don't know I'll try to give you a shot here you can see you know uh, yeah she has she's been mounted uh, you can see on the top of her wings here I don't know if it's picking up on the video or not see that black or that dirt that is actually feces and that's from the feet of the Drake so he has been on top of her so we didn't get to see it but there is evidence that it's happened and you can see the top of her wings her shoulders definitely I don't know if it's uh, you can pick it up in here I can see it uh, there there's a footprint from a drake so she has been mounted now just to make sure uh, you know being that ducks you know they love to mount uh, I'm gonna clean it up today gonna clean up the uh, the end here to get rid of uh, the feces I'm gonna give her a bath give her another treatment and then tomorrow we'll take the drake out because we know for sure that uh, she's been mounted uh, I know absolutely for sure I just don't know if it was successful or not uh, but she's definitely got dirt uh, feces on her back which would the only way she could get feces on her back is from the feet of the drake so we'll give them uh, one more day uh, to make sure that you know she's impregnated uh, or fertilized I should say not impregnated uh, and then uh, tomorrow we'll uh, take the drake out and we'll clean up the you know the whole place we'll all do straw down give her a bath again another treatment and uh, we'll start on the road of collecting eggs and letting her sit on her eggs so I'm gonna, I'll give you a shot here uh, I'm gonna uh, get uh, my jacket off of that and uh, get the pivot heads turned on and we'll uh, give you a shot here of uh, what it looks like uh, on her feet and another treatment for her all right, I'm gonna clean her out now here uh, at this end and get all the uh, feces and that out so it's nice and clean for her. Uh, but you know, I've, now I'm I'm now officially using my chemical spill gloves uh, because I've had enough of uh, duck feces uh, in my leather gloves, and this way it's it's just a lot easier cleaning it up here. So I'll grab a feed bag, I got an old feed bag, and uh, we'll get this cleaned up for the girl, and then we'll give her a bath. Hey. We'll give you a bath, Miss Scovy. Hi, Scovy, I mean. So now I'm going to put on uh, some uh, treatment gloves because we already know from yesterday <coughs> this stuff is serious purple. All right. I feel like a doctor. All right, here. I keep forgetting to make sure my hands are in front of my eyes. Uh, wearing these uh, in front of my face, I mean, wearing these glasses because you don't realize how much you look down with your your eyes and not move your head. And the thing is, is with these uh, you know these pivot head glasses that we're giving away on the channel that I'm wearing right now, not the ones that I'm giving away, or not the ones I'm wearing, but uh, you know the other pair. Uh, that if you don't turn your head, uh, you know you can't see what I can see in the glasses. All right, come here, little girl. No, no, relax. I don't want the Drake. Come on, girl. Over here. Come on. Let's not, let's not get the Drake all upset. Come on. All right, Jess, we just want you. All right. So, we got her now. The Drake's going to stay in there. All right. So, let's put you in here. Oh, look at you. Yes, have a clean. Oh, look at her. She's so good. Yes, you are such a good little duck. Oh, look at the Drake. He's upset that I've taken her out. Don't worry, she's coming back. I'm just freshening her up here for another round with you. Oh, Miss Icecovey. Actually, I'm going to get another rag here. You just stay there, Miss Ice Covey. And what a difference, you know. When before, I used to walk around her. You know, I was going to have a towel. I used to walk around her, and uh, she would, uh, you know, instantly jump and run. And now, uh, you know, she's so calm around me. Oh, you. You're so cute. Her head's purple from the water, uh, from the medication. She's really cleaning herself up here today. Maybe she did have sex. But I know, not maybe, I know she did because of the mounting on the back here. Uh, you know, the only way she could get, you know, feces on her, on her, on her wings like that on the tops is if, uh, you know, the drake was on top of her. Because she has been absolutely pristine white 
the whole time she's been in the house and all of a sudden today you know she's got dirt on the top of her and the only way that can happen is the drake you know they walked in some feces in the in the hospital mounted her so you know i i'd i'd say 99.9 .9 chance that she's been mounted i don't know if she's fertile uh but <coughs> she's definitely having a serious uh bath here maybe she did have sex now i know outside when the females have uh, sex, they go crazy in the bathtub afterwards. Uh, so maybe she did. You know, maybe she did have sex. But we're going to leave the male in one more day. It won't hurt. Um, you know, she'll handle one more day. And then uh, tomorrow we'll take the Drake out of here. And, uh, you know, we'll put her on her own and clean the place up for her. And She's making a real mess here, though. Oh, I know, duck. What a bath she's having. Actually, this is the longest bath she's ever had. Maybe she did have sex. Not maybe. She did. I keep seeing this maybe thing. I know she has. Uh, I just don't know if it was successful. Because like I said, there's only one way she could get uh, dirt on the top of her like that. And that's the male mounted her. But I think, uh, you know, she's soaked enough here. Her feet are clean. We'll give her a feet a check and... Got a rag here. I'm going to dry her feet off so the medicine sticks. Oh, she's going to go again here. She's hell-bent on making a real mess here. Oh, she's soaking wet now. Oh, duck. Here. That's enough. It's time to... Uh, I know. Look at that, eh? She doesn't jump out anymore at all. Let me see her feet. Actually... Actually, her feet don't look that, you know, they're bad, you know, they're rough, uh, you know, from being out there like that. Yeah, she's, uh, you know, it's sort of funny, you know, I don't know if it's focusing, uh, the autofocus here is working uh, right or not, but I know my eyes aren't autofocusing because uh, it's, she's just a blur. I don't have my glasses on. But her feet, you know, I, I don't know, they're they're nasty looking. Oh, I'm really sorry I put you outside, little duck. All right, let's uh, let's get you checked over here, okay? Your one foot. You draw your foot off. Oh, you little girl. She's so good. Like this. Look how good she is. Now the vet said the deal with the purple stuff, and I wish I could remember it's 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 I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna see him again today and I'll ask him the name of the stuff. But what it is, is it's an agent, it's a natural agent, it's not even a, a drug. It's actually a, a um, an organic type substance that causes the um, antibiotic and the anti-inflammatory to stick and seal her foot up. And it's totally natural. It's it's just it's it's really a wicked uh, staining item, uh, but it's absolutely totally natural stuff. And um, what it does is it coats the wound so that it seals it and helps the uh, the back the antibacterial and the antibiotic uh, stay on our foot. Now they do this, I guess, for cattle. Because cattle, you know, are in filthy messes. All right, girl, get inside there. Come on, get in. Oh, there you go. So that that's the deal with the purple stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna see him again today. Oh, she now she's splashing me. Um, and I'm gonna ask him exactly what it's called again. He, he told me on the phone there last night. I was talking to him. Um, but that's what the the purple's for. It's to it's to make the antibiotic and the antibacterial uh, stick to her foot and it seals the foot up and it actually is a binding agent of some sort uh so the medication stays so even if you uh you look, you look later if, if her foot's purple that means there's antibiotic and the antibacterial is still stuck to the foot is what he's told me last night so much cheaper stuff to use than the other stuff we were using but the other stuff we were using was for dogs that just happen to have the right uh medication in it that will work uh you know for you know for a duck uh, well, for birds, basically, uh, avian medicine. So, uh, but this is, a, you know, a score getting a bottle this big for, you know, like 18 bucks that 
you know, that she's going to, I'm going to be able to treat her every day here for a couple of weeks. And if I have to, and we're going to make her feet perfect. Plus there's an anti-inflammatory agent in there too. I forgot about that. So it's triple, uh, uh, you know, medication for her foot. I'm so lucky that I've got a vet that, uh, you know, I'm actually good, good friends with and, you know, that he, uh, I have unlimited access to him. Is I, I couldn't imagine. The, the closest uh, vet in this area for avian medicine is about 60 miles from us. They will not talk to you over the phone about anything. You have to bring the bird to them. Uh, and everything's about billing. Uh, you know, where, you know, my vet here uh, that I deal with locally, uh, you know, is not the same boat. He's a much uh, easier guy to deal with. And he's really freaking smart. So that's the, uh, the duck uh, treatment for today. I'm going to bring in some hay for the girl and the boy here because they seem to uh, want to nibble on some stuff here because they're uh, eating on the new uh, straw. And I'm going to leave them alone and uh, we'll see if uh, she gets mounted again. Well, we know. I'm going to, I know for sure. By tomorrow, she'll be mounted again. So, And we'll take the drake out of here and put him back with the flock. And he will have done his job. I was just standing here in the hospital looking at the uh, the boy and the girl here in the in the hospital, and I you know you really don't get an idea how big they are until they're standing beside each other uh, and the male. I, I just want to show you here. Like, look at the width of them compared to her. She's not twenty five percent of the size. He's massive. And they've been courting here. Uh, I just got back. I've been out there working outside. And he's, uh, I think he mounted her again today. So tomorrow he's definitely going back outside. And then uh, I'm going to clean everything up in here. And she'll have some peace. And she's really purple. She looks like a punk rock duck. With the medication. Oh, he's got purple on her too. On himself. So tomorrow he'll go back outside and Miss Iscovy can be in here by herself and she can her feet can heal and um, lay some eggs and hopefully they're fertile and we'll get some uh, hatching action in the back of the house. Hello ducks! Hello everybody! Yes, I've come out with fresh water. Oh, they get so excited. Yes, I know. You know, they were so quiet when I first came out here, not a sound out of them. But I come in here and they get all excited. Hello, duckies. You know, they were just absolutely all silent, but I come into the pen and they just go crazy. Uh, you know, it's like, they gotta talk to me and, and you know, get all excited. All right, well, let's get the water done up here. Today's code is gonna be, it's right here on the screen. And it's Sony 1-2 Enter the contest for your chance to win a pair of pivot head high definition video glasses. The exact same uh, glasses I'm using right now uh, to film this. Uh, that you can enter the contest on the uh, 50 Ducks in a Hot Tub channel here for a chance to win. Uh, and we'll ship them anywhere in the world for free. So, you know, for all you people that are watching my videos and they're not entering the contest, do it, man. It's a, it's a free contest. doesn't cost you anything. And if you win, I don't care where you live in the world. I'll mail them to you. And the ducks, well, maybe we'll get the ducks to fly them to you. I'm just kidding. Well, we'll send them airmail for sure. Even though the ducks, you know, are surface ducks and they can't fly, except for the Muscovies. But we could send them to the Muscovy, but they keep coming back, so we wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't get the glasses. So we'll mail them out to you. But enter the contest. All of you, you know, there's like 500 views uh, the first day on the video here. Uh, well, on yesterday's video. And, uh, you know, there was like 90 people, uh, you know, entered the contest. A lot of these are losing out here on a chance to, you know, to win some really nice glasses. You know, they're bar none. I think they're one of the coolest, uh, you know, video glass out there. Uh, you know, they've got facial res recognition technology, autofocus, continuous focus. They can do still capture, burst. You know, they're they're cool glasses. Enter the contest for your chance to win. The ducks want you to enter. The ducks need you to comment. The ducks need you to thumb up the thumbs up the video, and the ducks need you to enter. Like it's uh, you know you're helping the ducks. You're helping the duck adventure, right, duckies? Because we need Google to give us more money to feed you. We got to keep the ducks well fed, and I want to have you know five six hundred ducklings this uh, year on the duck adventure, and 
you know, we need more people watching this channel and we need you to promote us more and by you thumbs up and commenting and you know and, and entering the contest you're actually helping us and it doesn't cost you a cent just some clicks of your mouse and uh, you're helping the duck adventure get bigger so more people can see how cute the ducks are all right well let's see how the water's doing here that's that's my spiel for tonight <laughs> right duckies we need you to enter don't we Look how cute they are. Oh, look at this, the Rowans. It's always the Rowan that are first to want to get into the tub. I don't know what is with them. They're always the first ones. When I'm filling the tub up, it's always the Rowans uh, going for the tub first. Crazy little ducks. They're so cute. I wish it would get warm. It's nowhere near warm. That wind today, it was deceiving, you know. It was actually, it was only minus six, but the wind was brutal. Oh, the, the poor males are getting tormented. The females keep coming around to give them a hard time. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just caught the Muscovy on top of the female. I don't know if you can see it through the window. I'm going to go to the other side here. No, it's just as bad. Hey, you could tell. I don't know if you can see this. He's upset that I caught them. Here, we'll go. Uh... He's really upset. He got, they're upset that I caught them and I interrupted them. I was outside. Look at him. He didn't uh, do his thing because uh, I know based on my previous previous observations of when a Muscovy male, uh, after he finishes mounting a female, they always uh, collapse. They fall over and they collapse out of exhaustion after they, uh, they orgasm. And I've seen that countless times. So I know he didn't, uh, he didn't do his deed. He was on top of her. He mounted her, but he didn't do his thing. But I don't know how it showed up when I uh, first walked up to the window there. Because I walked up, I was uh, turning the hose off from filling the tub up. And uh, he was on top. So that's, uh, you know, and her feathers are dirty again, exactly like they were this morning. So, but like I said, if he had done his thing uh, and finished his mating, he would have actually rolled off of her and laid there. Uh, because after they finish uh, orgasming and, uh, you know, dropping, doing their semen load, uh, they always topple over and just lay there in sort of exhaustion. Um, and that's what I've seen. Like, I don't know, I've seen it like 30 times already. So I know that's the way it happens. Uh, so he didn't uh, finish. I interrupted. My bad.